I believe we're back. Hopefully the fourth time's the charm. Let's get right into the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to export recordings from the Memos app on your iPhone into VideoLeap. And then I'll discuss why you may be having trouble exporting your video leap projects once you're finished them. This is likely because you might be using a feature or an asset that you have to pay for. Let's get started. I'll be using the app library to switch between apps for this tutorial because it's one of my favorite features and it allows me to do so quickly since we're live. The first thing I'm going to do is open up the Voice Memos app. I have a voice recording that I want to import into VideoLeap so I can use it in one of my clips. So I'll tap on play so you can hear the recording. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. To bring the voice recording into Video Leap, I need to tap the three dots on the left. I need to tap on share. I need to swipe over on the bottom row of apps. And right next to Snapchat, you see the Video Leap icon, so I'm going to tap that. And there we see the audio recording has been imported into Video Leap. I'll expand it by tapping on the balloon thumbnail. And then I'll play the recording so you can hear it once more. I can't hear the audio due to the fact that my microphone is plugged in. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Now I'm going to add a video clip into this project. So I'll tap the plus sign like normal. I'll tap on stock and look for a subscribe logo. That's a video. I'm going to tap on Getty Images because I want to show you what happens if you try to <clears throat> export a project that has an asset in it that you have to pay for. So we'll just choose this one. Notice all of these say premium in the corner. When I tap on it, it will download into the project because I can try it. But when I go to export it, watch carefully what happens. If I play the clip, I love Mike's that videos. looks great. But as you can see, tips, it's tutorials. a little too short for my to audio. This isn't a problem because I already know that I'm not going to be able to use it. So I'll tap on export and the resolution and frames per second are set fine. If I tap on save, normally the export would just begin. But notice that because I've used something I have to pay for, I have to agree to buy it. If I tap on continue, I'll be charged for this item. I'm not going to buy it because I can use one for free, so I'll tap on the X in the corner to go back to the export settings. Tap one more time to go back to the project. I'll select the video clip, and because we're live, I'm going to swipe over and tap on the trash can to remove it. Now, I do want to use a green screen subscribe clip underneath this audio. So let me show you how you can find a free one. I'm going to tap on the plus sign 
going to tap on stock once more, but this time I'm going to tap on Pixabay. I'm going to make sure videos is selected, and I'm going to scroll down and find the animated subscribe logo that I use in all of my videos. I'm going to tap on it here. Notice that it says free, so it'll take a moment to download into the project. And let's play it. This video clip has audio, and if you stick around, I'll show you how to mute that audio so that just my audio plays. I'm going to tap the play icon in the center of the screen here, and we're going to look at the clip. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And don't forget to hit that notification. And notice that it is a bit too short for my audio. But of course, I could edit the audio clip. However, because I can't hear the audio and we are live, I'm just going to export this as it is. If these live tutorials work out and if you like them, I may do more in the future. If I tap on export, my resolution and frames per second settings should already be set. And if I tap on save, you'll notice that the export will just begin. The clip has now been exported. However, as I mentioned, I don't like the audio that this clip comes with. Here's a tip on how you can remove it. If I select the clip, swipe over, and tap on audio, let me just do that here. Oh, there it is, audio. Didn't swipe over far enough. I now have access to the audio for my subscribe clip that I just added. Notice here the second option says mute. If I tap on it, the audio will be muted. Of course, to make the changes permanent, I'll have to export the clip once more. So let's do that. All the settings are the same, and we're going to export it now. I'll tap on save to save it to my camera roll. And wait for the export to finish. The clip has been exported. Here's another tip. If I open the Photos app, and we'll go back to the All Photos view, Make sure you're down at the very bottom, and the clip that we want to look at is the second recorded clip here. This one is the, my latest recording, and it has only my audio. When I tap on the clip to play it, by default, the audio is turned off. So I'm going to turn it on. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. And, and now you're able to, to hear it. So that's how you can import audio clips from the Voice Memos app on your iPhone into Video Leap, and I've also explained the reason why you may not be able to export your video projects from Video Leap projects. Or you may not be able to export your projects out of Video Leap if you've used an asset or feature that you have to pay for. Thanks so much for joining me, and leave a comment down below. I'm specifically interested in how my audio sounds as I'm using a new microphone that I just picked up yesterday. We'll see you in the next live tutorial.